Let me ask you something that almost every man has wondered, but very few ever ask out loud. What really happens if you ejaculate every single day? Does it make you stronger, or does it secretly drain your energy over time? Could it actually protect your prostate, or is that just internet myth? The truth is, this simple private act triggers a complex chain reaction in your brain, your hormones, and even your immune system. And science has a lot more to say about it than most people realize. I've seen men of all ages, from 20 to 70, asking the same question with a mix of curiosity and guilt. Is it bad if I do it every day? So today, we're putting myths aside and diving into the real medical science behind ejaculation frequency, the potential benefits, the possible risks, and how to know what's actually right for your body. Let's start with what happens inside your body when you climax. When a man ejaculates, his brain releases a surge of chemicals, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and prolactin, each playing a unique role in mood regulation, bonding, and relaxation. A 2003 study from the Journal of Neuroscience by Kruger and colleagues showed that orgasm activates the brain's reward centers in a way similar to deep meditation and emotional bonding. Another study published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine in 2006, Brody and Kruger, found that the spike in prolactin after orgasm helps create that post-release calm, promoting better sleep and recovery. So biologically, ejaculation isn't just about pleasure, it's about balance. It helps reset your nervous system, reduces cortisol, your main stress hormone, and for many men, acts as a natural regulator for both mental and physical tension. But here's where things get interesting. Frequency matters. While occasional release supports mood and relaxation, a 2016 Harvard Health Professionals follow-up study, European Urology, found that men who ejaculated 21 or more times per month had a significantly lower risk of prostate cancer, suggesting that regular sexual activity may actually help maintain prostate health by flushing out potential irritants and old cells. On the other hand, if daily ejaculation becomes compulsive or purely mechanical, you might start to see drawbacks, from reduced sensitivity to fatigue or performance issues. We'll break all that down in the next section. So stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what daily ejaculation does to your body and how to tell if it's helping or hurting your long-term health. And before we dive deeper, if you care about protecting your prostate, improving your vitality, and understanding your body with real science, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Every day, I share evidence-based insights to help men live stronger, longer, and more confidently. The Science Behind Ejaculation and Hormones When you ejaculate, you're not just releasing fluid, you're triggering one of the most complex neurochemical events in the human body. It's a synchronized dance between your brain, hormones, and nervous system, designed for both pleasure and balance. Let's break down what's actually happening. During arousal, the hypothalamus, a small control center deep in the brain, signals a cascade of neurotransmitters, including dopamine, the reward molecule that drives motivation and pleasure. Dopamine gives you that sense of anticipation and satisfaction. It's the same chemical linked to focus, goal setting, and confidence. But as soon as orgasm occurs, your brain shifts gears. Dopamine drops and prolactin rises sharply, a change that researchers at the Journal of Sexual Medicine, Brody and Kruger, 2006, found helps explain the deep relaxation and post-orgasm calm that many men feel. Prolactin essentially tells your brain, mission accomplished, promoting recovery and even aiding sleep quality. Alongside that, your body releases oxytocin, often called the bonding hormone. Oxytocin plays a vital role in emotional connection and trust. A 2013 review in Frontiers in Psychology highlighted that oxytocin released during orgasm supports intimacy, lower stress, and may even protect the cardiovascular system by reducing blood pressure and improving circulation. Then there's serotonin, the mood stabilizer. It helps you feel grounded and content after climax, almost like your brain's natural antidepressant. The surge in endorphins, your body's built-in painkillers, completes this chemical symphony, easing tension and enhancing overall well-being.
Now, from a physical standpoint, ejaculation also engages your entire vascular and muscular system. Heart rate rises, blood vessels dilate, and circulation improves throughout the body, particularly in the pelvic region. This process helps keep the erectile tissues oxygenated, which is crucial for long-term sexual health. Research published in Urology Journal and the Journal of Andrology has shown that men with regular sexual activity tend to maintain better erectile function and blood flow compared to those with prolonged abstinence. In short, ejaculation isn't simply a release, it's a reset. It recalibrates the nervous system, clears mental fog, and signals your body to shift from high alert to restoration mode. However, just like exercise or diet, the right frequency depends on your unique biology. Too little can lead to tension or congestion, too much can dull your body's natural reward system. That's why understanding your own rhythm, not following someone else's rule, is key to lasting sexual and hormonal balance. The five evidence-backed health benefits of ejaculating regularly. Let's explore what medical research actually shows about the benefits of regular ejaculation and why, when done in balance, it can be part of a healthy lifestyle for men of all ages. 1. Mood regulation and mental clarity. Ejaculation triggers a cocktail of brain chemicals, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins that help regulate mood and reduce anxiety. A 2017 review in the Journal of Sexual Medicine found that orgasm can produce measurable drops in cortisol, your primary stress hormone, within minutes of release. Lower cortisol means better mood stability, less irritability, and improved resilience to stress. In simple terms, it's a natural stress management tool your body already knows how to use. 2. Better sleep quality You've probably noticed that sleepy calm after sex, and there's a biological reason for it. Research in Sleep and Biological Rhythms, Brody and Weiss, 2010, found that orgasm before sleep increases prolactin and oxytocin, two hormones that promote relaxation and deepen rest cycles. For men struggling with insomnia or racing thoughts at night, this hormonal response can help them fall asleep faster and wake up more refreshed, without relying on medication. 3. Improved Circulation and Erectile Health Orgasm is not just psychological, it's vascular. Each erection and ejaculation improve nitric oxide signaling, enhancing blood vessel flexibility and oxygen delivery to tissues. A study in Andrology 2020 noted that men with regular sexual activity had better endothelial function, meaning their blood vessels stayed healthier longer. This micro-workout for your circulatory system may help maintain erectile performance and lower long-term cardiovascular risks. 4. Lower risk of prostate cancer. This is one of the most striking findings in men's health. A Harvard cohort study published in European Urology 2016 followed over 31,000 men for 18 years. Those who ejaculated 21 or more times per month had a 26% lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to men who ejaculated 4 to 7 times monthly. The theory is that regular ejaculation helps flush out old prostate cells, inflammatory substances, and potential carcinogens, keeping the gland healthier over time. 5. Immune System Support Lastly, sex and ejaculation can subtly enhance immune defenses. A 2004 study in psychological reports, Charnetsky and Brennan, found that men who were sexually active several times a week had higher levels of immunoglobulin A, an antibody that protects against respiratory and gastrointestinal infections. Combine that with the stress-lowering benefits of oxytocin, and regular release becomes part of a more resilient immune system. So, when viewed through a medical lens, daily or regular ejaculation isn't bad for you at all, as long as it's balanced and conscious. It can support mood, sleep, vascular health, prostate function, and even immune strength. But like anything beneficial, moderation and mindfulness matter. Next, we'll discuss the flip side, the five potential drawbacks that can appear when daily ejaculation turns from a healthy habit into a draining routine. The Five Potential Drawbacks of Ejaculating Every Day As we've seen, regular ejaculation offers real physiological benefits. But just like overtraining at the gym or overcaffeinating the body, too much of a good thing can start to backfire, not because sex itself is harmful, but because of how your brain and body adapt to overstimulation.
Let's walk through the five main risks backed by science. One, compulsive or addictive patterns. Healthy sexual activity is a choice, not a compulsion. When ejaculation becomes a reflex driven by boredom, stress, or digital stimulation, it can reshape your brain's reward circuitry. A 2014 study published in JAMA Psychiatry by Kuhn and Galanat found that frequent pornography consumption was linked to reduced gray matter volume in the reward centers of the brain, areas responsible for motivation and impulse control. In clinical practice, I've seen this translate into men who report needing more stimulation to feel the same satisfaction or who lose motivation in other areas of life. 2. Emotional reliance and escapism. If ejaculation becomes the only outlet for stress or loneliness, it can mask deeper emotional needs. A 2020 review in Sexual Medicine Reviews noted that habitual sexual behavior can sometimes act as an avoidance strategy, offering momentary relief but reducing long-term emotional resilience. Biologically, this is tied to dopamine fatigue, the same system that drives addiction patterns in food or gaming. The key question is simple. Am I choosing this consciously or am I using it to avoid discomfort? 3. Temporary reduction in sperm count if trying to conceive. For couples hoping to start a family, frequency matters. The World Health Organization Laboratory Manual for Human Semen Analysis, 5th edition, 2010, indicates that optimal sperm concentration typically requires 48 to 72 hours between ejaculations. Daily release can temporarily reduce sperm density and motility, not harmful, but potentially less ideal during fertility planning. 4. Desensitization and lower libido. When ejaculation happens too frequently, especially in a rushed or purely mechanical way, your brain's dopamine receptors adapt, leading to a muted reward response. A 2016 paper in Translational Andrology and Urology highlighted that excessive sexual stimulation can reduce sensitivity and spontaneous arousal over time. Taking short breaks, practicing mindful arousal, or engaging in partnered intimacy instead of habitual solo release often restores that sensitivity within days. 5. Performance and focus issues. Rapid or habitual masturbation conditions the body for speed, not endurance. Neuroscientifically, your sympathetic nervous system learns to associate arousal with quick release. Over time, this can contribute to premature ejaculation or difficulty maintaining arousal with a partner. A 2015 clinical review in Therapeutic Advances in Urology emphasized that retraining through techniques like edging, breath control, and Kegel exercises can reverse this pattern by re-engaging the parasympathetic, calm, and sustain response. So, while ejaculation itself is natural and healthy, the context matters. When it's frequent but mindful, your body thrives. When it's compulsive or imbalanced, your neurochemistry and energy begin to show the strain. Up next, we'll explore how to find the right balance, when daily ejaculation supports your vitality, and when it may be time to adjust your rhythm for optimal hormonal and emotional health. Finding the right balance, doctor's advice. After treating thousands of men over the years, I can tell you this with complete confidence. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to how often you should ejaculate. What's healthy for one man might feel draining for another. The key isn't the number. It's the response of your body. Let's look at how to find that balance through awareness and self-assessment. 1. Listen to your body's feedback. Your body gives you clues long before issues appear on lab tests. If you notice improved mood, energy, and restful sleep after regular ejaculation, that's a good sign your frequency supports balance. But if you start feeling fatigued, emotionally flat, or find your libido decreasing, it's your nervous system telling you to slow down. A 2019 study in Frontiers in Psychology found that excessive stimulation without adequate recovery time can desensitize the brain's dopamine reward pathways the same circuits that regulate motivation, energy, and focus. Two, track energy, mood, and libido. One of the simplest tools I give my patients is a short self-audit. For two weeks, note three daily variables. Energy levels, morning and evening. Mood stability, sexual desire. If daily ejaculation maintains or enhances these, your frequency is likely balanced. If they decline, Try spacing out to every two or three days and observe the change. This mirrors findings from the Journal of Sexual Medicine, 2018, 
which suggested that slight abstinence periods can heighten testosterone peaks and restore sensitivity in some men. 3. Understand the role of testosterone and recovery. Ejaculation itself doesn't dramatically lower testosterone, a persistent myth. A 2001 study, Hormones and Behavior, show that testosterone levels remain stable even with frequent ejaculation. However, mental burnout from overstimulation can mimic low T symptoms, fatigue, low drive, irritability. That's why balancing stimulation with recovery, exercise, and nutrition keeps hormone function resilient. Four, integrate intimacy, not just release. For men in relationships, intimacy isn't only about orgasm. Emotional closeness, touch, and communication trigger oxytocin, the same bonding hormone released during climax. A 2021 study in Nature Human Behavior confirmed that oxytocin-driven bonding reduces anxiety and improves cardiovascular health in men. So, even if frequency changes, connection itself remains therapeutic. 5. Know when to seek medical guidance. If you experience persistent fatigue, erectile changes, pain, or significant mood shifts, it's worth consulting a urologist or endocrinologist. Sometimes, issues like hormonal imbalance, pelvic floor dysfunction, or anxiety can amplify symptoms that seem sexual but are really systemic. And addressing them early restores not just performance, but confidence and long-term vitality. In the end, balance isn't about restriction. It's about awareness. When you understand your body's signals, you stop guessing and start leading your own sexual health with clarity. Daily ejaculation can be healthy, beneficial, and even protective, but only when aligned with how you feel physically and emotionally. Next, we'll wrap up with a short, empowering conclusion, tying everything together and giving viewers a clear takeaway about ownership of their sexual and overall health. So what's the real takeaway here? The question, is it healthy to ejaculate every day, isn't answered by numbers. It's answered by how your body responds. Science shows that ejaculation is a natural process, one that supports prostate health, circulatory flow, and emotional release. Studies from European Urology 2016 and Harvard Health Publications both highlight that regular ejaculation, about four to seven times a week, is linked to a lower risk of prostate cancer and improved psychological well-being. But, and this is critical, balance matters. If ejaculation becomes automatic or if it drains rather than energizes you, it might be time to step back and reassess your rhythm. The doctor's bottom line. Ejaculation isn't harmful. Your body was designed for it. Daily release can be beneficial if energy, mood, and desire remain high. But if you notice fatigue, emotional flatness, or performance changes, it's not your testosterone collapsing, it's your nervous system asking for rest. Health isn't about strict rules, it's about a relationship with your own biology. As a urologist, I often remind my patients, the goal isn't to control your body, it's to understand it. That understanding builds true confidence, not just in the bedroom, but in every part of your life. Your action steps, doctor recommended. Track your rhythm, energy, libido, and sleep for two weeks. Adjust consciously. Try spacing to every two to three days and compare how you feel. Support your body. Exercise, hydration, zinc and magnesium-rich foods, oysters, spinach, pumpkin seeds. Consult a professional. If changes persist, don't self-diagnose. Seek a urologist or men's health specialist. Remember, sexuality isn't just a physical act, it's an extension of your emotional and hormonal health. Daily ejaculation can be a sign of vitality or a mask for imbalance. The difference lies in awareness, not abstinence. So take ownership, be curious about your biology, and build a relationship with your body that serves you for the next 30 years, not just the next 30 seconds. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to Dr. Georgia Bennett's YouTube channel where every day we break down the latest science on men's hormones, vitality, and urology, simplified for real life. Hit the bell icon so you never miss a video that could change how you understand your body.